Creating analytics applications and generating insights from your organization data doesn't have to be a complex or time-consuming process. With OVH Cloud Data Platform, you can create, deploy, and scale your analytics applications quickly within budget. Let us show you how it's done. When you log into OVH Cloud Data Platform, the first thing you'll see is all the environments you've created. An environment is a complete data factory configuration, from the data extraction, storage, and transformation to the querying visualization and the final applications running on the cloud. To create a new environment, just click on the new project. The first thing Data Platform will ask is to choose a template. Select the template that suits your use case the most. Enter the name of your project and hit Confirm. This is what the project interface looks like. You can control the whole data value chain, from the collection and cleansing, data storage, transformation, query building, dashboards and APIs, all the way to web applications. From the Data Catalog Overview window, you can see all your connected sources for each source type, and a heat map showing your source connection history and status. To collect data from a new data source, simply select New Source and choose from the pre-built connectors to over 50 data sources. You can even import public data from social media sites. Let's collect from a PostgreSQL database. To configure the connection, just fill out the boxes. The connection will be saved securely in the platform so you can use it later. To better understand the structure of the files you're importing, click on Analyze. From the Analyze window, you can view your source files and extract their metadata and attributes. You can also deselect attributes and view a sample of your data and create transformation rules to clean your source data. The Data Platform Store provides a range of pre-built rules to choose from to enforce data governance at the catalog level. Note at this time, the data has not yet been loaded into Data Platform. You have simply referenced data sources and connections. Let's go back to the initial interface and click on the Lakehouse Manager. This is a serverless data warehouse based on open source standards that scales up with you. In Data Platform's philosophy, you have the choice between querying your data sources directly, which we'll come back to later, or storing data in Lakehouse Manager datasets. Let's look at the second option for now. You can create as many datasets as you want and design your overall dataset structure however you wish in order to meet your goals for logical organization, access control, data residency, and more. Lakehouse Manager is a flexible and scalable data warehouse based on open source technology Apache Iceberg that can store hundreds of terabytes of data. The Tables window shows you all the tables inside all your data sets as well as their data structure. From the interface, you can quickly define tables and create a data schema by telling the data platform which tables you want to use. Modify the configuration of your tables, add attributes, set up partitions, easily join tables together, create filtered views for different projects or team members, and much more. Enforce advanced data access control by defining policy tags for unified data security and governance. Policy tags can be applied to a data set, a table, or an attribute, and someone will need to be granted access to the policy tag to be able to query the associated data. Finally, Lakehouse Manager lets you manage external data sets housed on remote storage engines. You can define an external dataset from the datasets page and specify which storage engine to connect to. This allows you to benefit from the full capabilities of a unified data platform while leveraging engines that you are used to working with. Now that your data source and destination datasets have been set up, it's time to start the ETL or ELT process. The data processing engine allows you to build all the sophisticated data transformation and cleaning rules you need. The data platform makes it easy for you. Instead of writing transformation rules, you can access pre-built functions called actions from the store. For instance, if you want to aggregate the data from several tables in your data sources, simply choose the source tables in a destination table. The data platform will automatically construct a mapping between your data sources and the destination and create a join for you. If you do not want to use the data platform pre-built actions, the platform allows you to write your own actions. You can write your own rules using a Python environment.
The data platform can even help you with this. With Python modules, you can choose yourself. The data platform also automatically takes care of functions such as how to connect the source data and how to manage the lifecycle of your action. The data processing engine manages all the credentials automatically for you. Everything is controlled and automated by the data processing engine to help you speed up and simplify the creation of your new Python action. Once you've built out all these actions, the data platform allows you to orchestrate them in a workflow. A workflow is basically a sequence of stages. Each stage can contain one or more actions. Once you set up the stages, the data platform will go through the different stages sequentially. The data platform allows you to share your workflows with your colleagues, who can duplicate them and edit them for their own projects. Now that you have built out the extraction rules and actions and created your own data schema, it's time to build your queries to access the data you're interested in. You can use the Analytics Manager to do this. Use it to build and run specific queries, which can then be accessed by your end users. Here again, you can create a query from scratch or pick one that's already been pre-built by one of the team members to copy and edit. There are two ways to build a query. You can use the Visual Query Builder interface or use the SQL editor. With the Visual Builder, select metrics, break down dimensions and filter options and run the query to visualize your results. Like we saw earlier, it is possible to query both your Lakehouse Manager datasets as well as any data source referenced in your data catalog that you have enabled direct query for. This direct query feature allows you to remotely query data stored outside of data platform without having to load it first. Of course, you can join direct query data with Lakehouse Manager tables as and when you want. Analytics Manager is a supercharged unifying query engine, but it doesn't stop there. With dashboards, you can create simple and modern data visualizations to share results. Create a dashboard to get started. Select queries that you or your team members have saved and drag and drop them to assemble them on your dashboard. Change charts and visualization types, apply your favorite color palette, customize visual options, and much more. Create dynamic filters that are applied to all or part of your dashboard. Once you have finished creating, you can preview how it will look once shared. All dashboards have a unique shareable link that allows you to share a read-only live version of the dashboard. For example, if you want executives to access the data in real time. As you can see, Data Platform offers many ways to access your analytics insights. Dashboards was only one of them, but we will now walk you through two more. One method is APIs, which any of your external systems and applications can access. The other is through an application you can build using the Data Platform Application Manager. Let's first take a look at how to build APIs using the API Manager. There are pre-built data platform APIs you can select and use directly from the store. You can use these APIs as is and extend their capabilities or create your own. The data platform allows you to add extensions to your APIs and you can choose from a range of pre-built extensions from the store. Extensions can save you a lot of time. If you want to go further, the data platform gives you full access to the source code of your extensions, so you can customize them to your liking using Node.js. Once you've created your API, you don't have to worry about it anymore. The data platform has an embedded application service. The data platform application module allows you to build a fully functional web app to visualize your data. You can access a full range of pre-built application builder widgets through the store. These are React.js modules, which you can also edit, and if you want to, you can build your own just like with the APIs. You can also add extensions to your application. The data platform offers many different modules to allow you to create great-looking data-centric web applications. Chart libraries with dynamic parameters, animations, graphs, maps, and more. The data platform also gives you full access to the source code. You have full access to the JavaScript, the HTML, and the CSS, so you can even build your own applications from scratch if you prefer. Thank you for watching this video. Data Platform is packed with lots of functionality. For a deeper dive into any of these functions, please visit our website or contact us. You can also try out the platform for free.